Hello everyone and welcome to another iClone 7 Academy tutorial. Today's topic will be creating your own lookup table. If you don't know what a lot or a lookup table is, I suggest that you go ahead and watch the tutorial Intro to Lots. You can go ahead and link on, click on the link below and then just come back here after you're done. Now for those of you that know what a lookup table is, you know how easy it is to change the look of a scene after you're done with that. It's a post filter that can give you many film looks quite easily. So let's say the art director comes over and say, hey Chris, you know what? This scene looks fantastic, but you know what? I think it would look even better if it was at sunset time. It's like, sunset time? Sure, no problem. So you go to your stage tab over here, go to effects, lots, and look for the sunset filter. Oh, look at that. We have one. Boom, it's done. Everyone's clapping, hey! Yeah, no, you wish it was that easy. Chances are, they are going to ask you for something that you probably do not have. You're gonna have to probably com combine many of these lots, or you're gonna have to create your own, which is what we're gonna do on this particular tutorial. So let's get started. First, let's go ahead and apply a neutral lot. Let's go to visuals and under this tab over here, which is effects, uh, you will find uh, uh, all the lots or uh, colors adjustments that you can do uh, and apply to the uh, to your scene. This is done after the scene is rendered, so it's great. So you can actually turn one off and on and see what the difference is, just a click of a button immediately. Now, to, to actually create your custom lot you need to export this palette over here and the reason we use a neutral one is because this will change will not change the scene at all and from here once you modify it then you bring it back here and you will see uh, what an awesome uh, quick change you can get so let's go ahead and export this uh, palette onto your uh, graphic editor of choice in my case, it's going to be Photoshop. So let's go ahead and separate these two guys. And um, and you're probably going, hey, Chris, great painting over there. How long did it take you to do that? No, no, that was done by Leonardo da Vinci and my friend, uh, you know, uh, Renoir over here and Van Gogh. Uh, yeah, we go way back. Uh, yeah, I'm not really that old, but... I have read and admired their work for ages, so I feel very close to them. So, wouldn't it be cool if you can actually capture the palettes of these great painters and put it onto your images? Well, yes you can! And this is how. Alright, so let's go ahead, let's go into Icon here, do a quick preview render here like so and if you click here on your this three little uh, dots here it will pull out uh, uh, another menu and I'm gonna go ahead and say copy so it copies that image alright so now we can go ahead and uh, close this image let's go back to Photoshop and I am going to go ahead and say control N to create a new document and say create and then I'm going to paste Control V to paste what I just copied, which was that image. Now I'm going to separate the lot from the image first. Okay, so we want to keep this intact. And um, let's go ahead and try to fit this a little bit better so it's not so messy. And um, real quick. All right, let's uh, shrink the image here so it fits in there. All right, great. So now we have our render from uh, iClone. We have our lookup table, which is a neutral one. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to select the palette over here. I'm going to press Control A to select all and then Control C to copy. 
and I'm going to paste that onto this document over here. So I'm going to go Control V to paste that. Now, if you press V again, just V, this will move the layer that you just created and you just paste it on, paste it on top. So you keep the lookup table in the same image as uh, your render image. And now what we're going to do is, I am going to select, by using the wand, I'm going to select an empty space on the layer, and then I go uh, Control shift i to invert that selection. Now you have the lot selected in there, just a lot. And now I'm going to go to Channels, and I'm going to create an alpha for that. This is going to allow you to recapture the selection afterwards. You could select, save the selection, and under select, but this was an, a much faster way of doing things. So let's go ahead and leave that over there. And now I'm going to go to my layers and I'm going to right click on the top layer here and I'm going to say merge down. So now we have just one image, one layer where we have the actual image with the uh, lot right on top of it, but it's all in the same layer. Okay. So now it's time to start uh, getting those palettes, those wonderful palettes from those paintings and applying it to the, this image over here. To do this, all you got to do is go into our image adjustments and then go color match. And now I'm going to go ahead and select one of the paintings here. Let's select the Mona Lisa first. Look at how that changed. We took the palette from that painting and look at how it transformed this wonderful, the image we had into this wonderful image. They had these warm tones. It's just beautiful. And the thing is, this was how, this is how easy it is to actually create one. You can just tweak to your heart's content until you have a look that you want. And uh, let's go ahead and pick the Van Gogh now. See how that looks just by changing it like this. Starry night. Look at that. Look at how wonderful that is. Those rich colors, those blue tones there. Incredible. Now let's check out the Renard. It is really that easy. So look at that. So let's say we like this particular one and we want to take this look over here back into Icon. How do we do that? So we click on OK to select that. And uh, now that we have the filter applied, we need to go ahead and capture the same area on that on that lookup table palette that we embedded onto the image. And to do that, it's quite simple. All you got to do is go to your channels, select the alpha layer, select the one, click on an empty area and control shift I to invert it. So now you have that selected. Let's go back to the RGB image. Go back to layers, and now I'm going to go Control C to copy, and then I'm going to select on my lookup table here, and I press Control V to paste. And now all I got to do is go ahead and merge this down, this layer down, so we have just one one image here, not one layer, and I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and save. Click on save, and now let's go back into iCloud. And you will see we have the exact same color adjustment. It is really that easy. All you got to do now is uh, rename your effect if you want to. And uh, this one was the Renoir. So over there, enter. And that's how easy it is to actually create your own custom lot. Now let's say you want to create a simpler adjustment to the image. Well, you can totally do that. All you got to do is first bring in another neutral into the table. All right. And then go ahead and export that neutral. And we, I'm going to go ahead and turn this one off. So we'll go back to normal here. As you can see, the neutral is not affecting anything. Send that one over there. And you can update this one, which is fine. And now you can go ahead and uh, over here, we, we have the color match over here. So let, let's go back and undo those uh, last steps here. 
So let's remove the color match there. So we're back to the same neutral colors with a neutral uh, lot. And now we're ready to make some layer adjustments. Maybe uh, levels. We want to create some levels in there. And then we, let's see, we want to adjust this and move a little bit of that like that. We want to add some more contrast to the whole scene like that. Uh, that looks kind of cool. And then maybe we want to, let's see, uh, bring in one of these guys over here. So hue and saturation. And we want to like totally desaturate this to make kind of like a very scary picture or a stylistic black and white image right so basically we do have all we have here is a couple of uh, uh, layer adjustments and what you can do is you can select those two layers adjustments and you can just carry them over to the lookup table and now all you got to do is just flatten the image so you go over here flatten image and just save the image and let's go back into iCloud and look at that now we have this cool black and white contrasty image uh, and it's really that simple so that's basically it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will catch you on the next one until then take care and good night